We are building the 2021 Winter Village Collection Santa's Visit Set today, 10293. This set is made up with 1,445 pieces and four minifigures. This set is retailed at 160 Australian dollars, which is kind of the standard cost for Winter Village sets. It's one of the 18 plus range with the classic looking black box. The size of the finished product is 29 centimeters wide and 19 centimeters tall. Also a standard size for Winter Village sets. You can see the main component of the set is the blue cottage house. We've also got a couple of bonus builds on the side including the Christmas tree and the snow gate. From the back of the box we can see the design is a very open planned house. Lots of very cute details. If you like my videos, please don't forget to click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. This will really help my video rankings and help my little channel grow. Let's now open the box and see what it looks like inside. There are 9 bags of bricks inside the box, separated into 9 separate building steps. 2 instructions books and 1 little sticker sheet. 1,445 pieces would normally take I'll say 34 hours to put together. It's going to take a little bit longer for me because I will be presenting the building process in stop motion mode as usual. After it's all completed, we can have a look at the details together. Let's build! This is the completed Lego Winter Village Santa's Visit set. We've got the main build in the middle, two little bonus builds on the side and four minifigures in the set. Firstly, let's have a look at our minifigures. Most importantly, the Santa minifigure. This is actually a new version of the Santa minifigure Lego has created. It's the exact same Santa figure as the Santa's sleigh set which I built last time. The main change with this minifigure is the multicolored mold for the leg piece which included the black boots for Santa. The other main change is the face print. Santa's beard is actually printed on the headpiece. Of course, we do have an extra beard piece on top of it. The next minifigure we'll have a look at is the dad of the family. There is a new piece used here, which is this letter print accessory piece the minifigure is holding. This is a new print. It's also a two-faced minifigure. We've got our main expression at the front and also an alternate, very happy face at the back. 
The next minifigure we'll look at is the mum minifigure. Very cool black beehive hairpiece. I don't think there is anything very new or exciting with this minifigure though. It is a two-faced minifigure, the main expression at the front and also a super happy alternate expression at the back. The last minifigure we'll have a look at is the little girl minifigure. A short leg version, kitty sized minifigure. There are a couple of new prints with this figure. Firstly, the torso print is something new. You can see it's a very Christmassy snowflake patterned pajama print. There are prints on the front and back of the pajamas. Also a two-faced minifigure, the main face at the front and an alternate face at the back with the little girl sleeping. The other new print in this piece is the sugar cookie that the little girl is holding. This is also used inside the house, which we will see later. The design came from the actual sugar cookie one of the Lego designers' mother makes every Christmas, which she named the Melting Moments. Now let's have a look at the two bonus builds in the set. Firstly, there is a snow gate. We've got the snow covered fencing, a very cute mailbox. Also something worth mentioning is the piece inside the lamp here, the, the one by one cylinder piece. It's a very pretty opalescent semi transparent cylinder piece. They're also used in the main build, which we will see a bit later. It's quite a good idea to keep this gate as a separate build because that gives you some flexibility on how to display this. You can either display it just at the front of the house or if you're making a winter village scene, you can display it further away from the house wherever you want to allow some room for a fuller scene. The other bonus build we have in the set is the Christmas tree. It's actually a very solid build. Something worth mentioning is that we've used a lot of transparent bricks in this build. You can see transparent bricks separating each layer of the tree. There's a reason for that. There we go. As soon as you press the tree down, you can see there's a lighting brick in the middle of the build, which we will need transparent brick layers to allow the light to shine through. That's a pretty cool Easter egg. Also, lots of little presents surrounding the tree. We've got a few assorted gift boxes, some toys, a rocker and a gold trumpet. The disc of the trumpet is, for some reason, not in the same shade though. Now, let's have a look at our main build, which is this very pretty light royal blue house covered in snow. The house is on a very nice angle. I think that makes the house look very complete from lots of different directions. Firstly, let's have a look at the external structure of the house. It's looking very Christmassy with all the pine leaf decorations around the house, including near the roof of the house, also just under all the windows. They are actually green Wolverine claw pieces. If you look at them closely, a very clever use of this particular piece. We've got two lanterns at the front of the gate. That's where we've also used the opalescent one by one cylinder piece. It's a very, very pretty new piece. I'm sure Lego will find a lot of use of this new color. One side of the window has a very cute white bird. On this side of the house, there is an unfinished snowman just in front of the window. And there's a tree on this side of the house with a very cute yellow bird house attached. This is actually the first time a deciduous tree like this is used in the winter village set. The tree is made up with leafless branches and white snowy leaves covering the tree. There's a window on the first floor and there's a little gold candle inside the window. The door of the house can be opened. There's a Christmas wreath attached to the door but only very loosely attached. The handle of the door is made up by the grey unprinted pizza slice pieces. Now let's turn around our house and look at the main internal details. It's a very, very open space. Probably the most open space I've seen in Lego building builds, which kind of makes the angle of the house more important. With such an open space, the build can very easily look very incomplete if you film it from different directions. But with this particular angle, the house sits in, it definitely makes it look more closed off and complete from the front and sides. 
on the attic we've got a pink gift box a sandy green light hanging off the attic the middle piece of the house is this christmas dining table we've got a table runner across the table with even drapes on either sides quite basic christmas decorations on the table though all we have are some candles and cups interestingly structured chairs they can be adjusted a little bit, but they are basically attached to the floor. There is no leg space. Behind the table is a very cute little kitchen, also in sandy green pieces, kind of matching with the light on the top. We've got a mini sink and some drawers, which none of them can be opened, but a few very cute accessories on the kitchen benches, including the bread loaf, and also a very cute mixer. There is no bowl around the mixer though, but still very easy to tell that it is a mixer we are trying to build here. You can see there are a few exposed holes on the kitchen floor. I think they are purposely there, so it allows you to attach decorations or minifigures to the floor, like this. Just above the kitchen, we've got a little bedroom which seems to be the little girl's bedroom. The roof of the bedroom can actually be opened like this, which allows you to access this space easier. It's a space themed bedroom. You can tell from the space picture on the wall and also a ring planet attached to the roof. A very cute ring planet with a lime green ball and the ring attached around it. A very comfy looking yellow bed with a letter to center. On the desk, this pattern is a sticker. Now let's have a look at this side of the room. The main feature of this side is a chimney and fireplace. The flame pieces can be adjusted, which I'll show you exactly why very, very soon. A few more sticker pieces used here, including the clock print and the family portrait. I quite like the stocking build on the fireplace. A very cute build. Very comfy looking couch. However, I think a little bit far from where the table sits. On the table, we've got the new print sugar cookie again with a cup of milk. Here is another Easter egg in the set. The reason that the flames inside the fireplace can be adjusted is because that's where Santa needs to enter. So we can drop Santa off the chimney and Santa will fall straight through and land inside the house. There we go, our 2021 Winter Village Santa's visit set. For the $160 price tag, I actually think it's quite a small set, but I love the royal blue building. I think it's very cute, very, very Christmassy with the snow covered roof. A snowy Christmas is something people from down under are always very envious of. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and wish you all a very happy new year. I will see you again in 2022.